In mountain speed, we of course provide tool to extract um, region of interest, um, profiles, and even channels from SPM data. So here's how. This is an example of um, another SPM image, an AFM image. We can process it. Like that, for instance. OK. I don't need to display the raw data anymore, so I will just delete that frame. And, and now, extracting region of interest or profile, you will find those options uh, under the Operators tab. There's an Extract part here, Extract Area for Region of Interest. You have a couple of options, rectangular, circular, or custom. Let's stick to rectangular. You can choose the location, change the size, the aspect ratio. Then you can click on OK. The software will show you where that uh, location, the extract was on the raw data. And here is the zoom. What's important for you to notice is if you have some calculation attached to this uh, extract, for instance, if I want to calculate um, some roughness parameter, for instance, I want to calculate the SQ parameter on an unfiltered surface, which is called primary surface in the ISO standard. Here is the result. If I change the, local, the location of this extract, this calculation here, the, the value will change because this value is directly linked to this. So you can check the value on different region of your sample. You can also extract a profile right here. There's a couple of options available, west, east, north, south, oblique, or zigzag, like that. You have a manual positioning available. You can also extract a profile through the lowest point on the surface, which is here, or the highest point on the surface, which is here. You can also average, and the software show you how much line, how many lines have been taken into account. You can increase that, of course, five, for instance. When you are happy with those settings, click on OK, and you have a profile. Because you are working with uh, multiple channels, AFM images, when you do those extracts, extract area or extract profile, you perform such extract through all of the layers. So in here, I had three layers. Of course, the extract area have three layers. And the profile extracted has also three channels. You can, with the profile, you can display multiple two, at least two, um, profile on the same graph. So the topography on the left. And then by clicking on the multi-layer view, you can add the phase signal as well. And because these two frames are linked, when you change the location here through this particle, this view is being updated. Finally, you may want to isolate a channel for a specific or dedicated post-processing. To do so, you will find under the Operators tab, the Extract layer. You may extract all layers, or you may extract only one or a couple. Let's maybe extract only the topography. You click on OK, and now the new layer is here. 
for, for available for server processing.